Flushable wipes are used weekly by millions of people and are increasing microplastics in our oceans and creating fatbergs. Fatbergs are caused when wipes are flushed down the toilet and are mixed with fats, oils, and grease. They clog up the sewer and cost the region millions of dollars. The Canadian Water and Wastewater Association estimates that Canada-wide costs related to improper disposal of wipes are at least $250 million each year. We are advocating for the government to improve product labeling and the creation of Canadian standards for flushable wipes by interested parties. Toilet paper is made to dissolve. These, not, these flushables aren't made to dissolve at the same rate, and some don't even dissolve, right? Even the Kleenex doesn't dissolve at the same rate as toilet paper, the way they're designed, the way they're, they're engineered. So these are specifically designed to be flushed down the toilet. Undissolved wipes are one of the most commonly found foreign items in sewer infrastructure. When you flush wipes down your toilet, the sewers get clogged up and it could all end up right back in your home or even in our lakes and rivers. We did an experiment to compare a flushable wipe with toilet paper to see firsthand which product will actually break down in sewer systems and therefore could be flushable. We found that after the wipe and toilet paper had been stirred and sitting for an hour, only the toilet paper broke down. A 2019 report from Ryerson University tested 23 products labeled as flushable by manufacturers and confirmed all would not break down in Ontario's sewer system. We were trying to get the word flushable off. Just put it in the garbage, put it in the green bin, just knock down the toilet. We sent out a survey to approximately 50 Parkview school parents asking two simple questions. One, would you flush one of these non-flushable wipes down your toilet? And two, would you flush one of these flushable wipes down your toilet? We found that 41 out of 42 people, which is 97.6%, would not flush a non-flushable wipe down the toilet. However, 28 out of 42 people, which is 66.7%, would flush a flushable wipe down the toilet. This shows that most people believe what the packaging states. Therefore, we have to get the message across that flushable wipes aren't flushable. We put up posters around our school indicating that only three things should go down the toilet. Number one, number two, and toilet paper. We also created a website and Instagram account talking about why wipes aren't really flushable and the dangers of flushing a wipe down your toilet into our sewer system. We also sent out a digital poster to parents and adults in our community about why flushable wipes aren't so flushable. Finally, after educating our community, we sent out a follow-up survey to approximately 50 Parkview school parents asking the same two questions. We found that 41 out of 41 people, 100%, would not flush a non-flushable wipe down the toilet. And 4 out of 41 people, 9.8%, would flush a flushable wipe down the toilet. Overall, these results indicate that people have improved awareness and understanding that flushable wipes should not actually be flushed down the toilet into our sewer system. So I guess it's just promoting it through your peers and, and, and things like you're doing right now. It's a perfect way of, of promoting it. We don't flush. Don't flush wipes because they clog up the pipes.